Welcome back. The markets are still up closer around 60 points. Uh, the IT index, that's the one that's driving the way or leading the way today. Remember, yesterday it was an underperformer. IT index is doing well. Nifty Bank has come off the a little bit from the day stop. Well, let's focus on our next uh, corporate. We have uh, Century Plybolts. That's the stock on our radar. It's corrected a little bit off late. The stock is down closer on 7% in the last uh, one year, though. It's corrected a goodish bit. Mr. Keshav Bajanka, the executive director of Century Plybolts, joins us on the show. Hi, Keshav. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, let's talk about demand first up. You know, I'm reading a couple of reports and they suggest that plywood demand is a little bit softish. Could you tell us whether that's the case? While MDF is reasonably positive, what is the outlook on demand and how has it been in quarter four so far? Good morning. Um, you know, I think you're right. Overall, the demand in the market, the demand sentiment doesn't seem to be very good. I think uh, there are signs of a slowdown, not just across uh, our sector, but across building materials in general. However, having said that, uh, by virtue of uh, the actions that we have taken on ground, we have still been doing fairly well. So I think uh, as far as uh, Century Pivot is concerned, uh, demand is still uh, okay. Uh, we should be doing a growth. And uh, this looks like a good quarter. Um, with regards to MDF, yes, demand is still good. Uh, in MDF, there is some pressure from imports, but that is predominantly in uh, southern parts of India. North India being uh, somewhat isolated from the impact of imports has been doing uh, reasonably well, and the demand for MDF remains robust. Uh, we have just uh, commissioned our new capacity at the start of this month, and we are gradually ramping up. So I think going forward, uh, MDF should be a good growth driver for us. Okay, all right. A quick question, follow-up question on pricing. Then I understand in quarter four, you have taken a price increase in the plywood segment. Could you quantify that? How much is that? And there are reports that suggest that the unorganized or the unbranded market is coming back. If that is the case, will you have to pull back some of these price increases? So a sense on plywood prices as well as on MDF, because I understand that the export market is down by close to around 4-5%. So in plywood, by virtue of being the market leader, we do have a certain amount of pricing power in our hands. So we've taken close to a 2% increase. And uh, I don't think, uh, regardless of whether the unorganized sector is bouncing back or not, uh, that we'll have to roll this back. Uh, this is primarily due to elevated uh, timber prices, as I mentioned earlier as well. Um, on the unorganized sector, I don't think that there has been much of a recovery. Uh, what we have heard from the market is, you know, firms are still struggling and uh, that is due to the weak sentiment on the ground. With regards to MDF, uh, we were never exporting because our capacity is predominantly in the north of India at this point in time. So for us, that isn't so much of a challenge. Once our capacity in the south in Andhra Pradesh comes into play, then exports will definitely form a part of our strategy. But uh, I think that is going to be towards the end of this year or the start of next year. Keshav, hi, good morning. Could you tell us what's the split between uh, ply, uh, plywood and uh, uh, MDF? Uh, because MDF, of course, you've expanded capacity significantly as well. And second, the demand slowdown you spoke about, is that a result of uh, uh, general inflation out there or are you seeing something more sinister? Uh, good morning. Um, for us, plywood is still predominantly the largest segment, whereas MDF is going to be the growth driver. As you have pointed out uh, very correctly, we have taken a 60% capacity expansion in, in uh, MDF as of the previous quarter. And we're looking at 100% further capacity expansion towards the end of next year. So MDF uh, definitely being a sm smaller part of uh, the business, uh, but definitely has a far higher growth potential going forward due to the fact that we are limited by capacity. Um, and secondly, uh, I think that the major reason for uh, the, the somewhat tepid demand is that uh, uh, interest rates have gone up. Because interest rates have gone up, the EMIs have actually uh, increased substantially. So discretionary expenditure is being pulled back slightly. You're seeing demand for homes is still quite robust. But I think the decision to furnish or to you know take up uh, that home project perhaps is getting pushed back slightly. I think this is somewhat temporary and we're going to see a, a very good, robust demand outlook in the medium term. Short term, yes, you're right. Due to the interest rates, there's a slight bit of pressure. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Keshav, uh, just wanted to get back to that point on uh, price hikes. 
Because I think investors want to see if you can uh, start shoring up margins. Uh, that's what you had indicated, I think, in earlier conversations. So uh, can you tell us in both the segments, plywood and MDF, what kind of margins are you looking at? Q4 and then getting into uh, the next year, uh, what kind of margin recovery at what levels will you bring them back? You know, we normally don't look at margins as uh, quarterly. We look at the long-term margins and we give our guidance based on the same. So for plywood, we have revised our guidance slightly. We have said that we would be looking at 12 to 14% in the medium term. Laminates, MDF and particle board are largely consistent from 14 to 16% for laminates, 25% for MDF and 25% for particle board. Having said that, there could be some pressure in the short term, but long term, this margin guidance still holds very well intact. So that's a slight lowering in the plywood guidance, uh, I would imagine. You said 12 to 13%, right? Uh, where where 12 does that 14. leave? 12 to 14 percent. And where does that leave uh, your outlook on uh, blended margins at an overall company level? I think our blended margins will be to tune of 16, 17 percent plus. Of course, the objective will be to push them further higher. But I think 17 mm. percent is a safe assumption on the blended margin, considering the increase in the MDF capacity going forward. Okay. All right. Uh, what about your market share? You know, you're indicating that maybe the industry is going through some a little bit of a lull, but y'all are doing fairly okay. So if you could give us, what's your sense in terms of market share? I think in the plywood segment, your market share is around 6%, which has improved by around 100 basis points. So where is that head headed? And we have your blended margins at around mid-teens. What about top-line growth for the company on the whole for FY24? Um, so the objective for growth is always 20% plus, and I think we are very well in line for 20% uh, plus top-line growth in uh, FY24. As far as market share is concerned, you know, the unorganized data isn't authenticated. It could be uh, any figure because it's very difficult to get a sense of what the unorganized play is. Having said that, in the organized sector, I think we have pushed up from 25% of the organized space to 30% of the organized market. So that's close to 5% market share in the organized space. Slowly, as the unorganized moves towards the organized, this is going to lead to an even bigger overall increase because the size of the organized pie is increasing. All right. Uh, thanks very much. Good speaking with you, uh, Keshav, and good luck. Let's hope, uh, you know, we are at the higher end of the interest rate curve and not uh, there's not very much more to go. Uh, but, uh, you know, overall, you're still sounding uh, pretty confident uh, with the growth prospects, even though there is a bit of a slowdown, which we are seeing. Uh, in the plywood segment, furnishings, etc., are being uh, postponed, as you said. I mean, you know, the market is doing uh, uh, quite okay, a third of a percent higher.